unfortunately we see our our provincial government fighting against it. And, you know, that's to the detriment of the economy and that's also to the detriment of the climate. Thursday, the federal government released draft regulations for a net zero grid in 2035. The Alberta provincial government is not happy with the draft. Premier Smith releasing a lengthy statement in response, saying in part, one of the only positives at this point is that these are draft regulations and Alberta is about to commence a working group with the federal government to discuss how to bring Ottawa's efforts efforts to decarbonize the economy in line with Alberta's emissions reduction and energy development plan. The message was echoed in a news conference held by the Alberta government Tuesday afternoon. Alberta's Minister of Environment and Protected Areas, Rebecca Schultz, reacting to the draft. Draft regulations are unconstitutional, irresponsible, unrealistic, and would make life less affordable for Albertans and Canadians. They will not be implemented in our province, period. They can't. We are beginning our talks with the federal government, and if we can't get alignment, Alberta will chart its own path to ensure we have reliable and affordable electricity for the people we serve. Energy law expert Kristen Vanden Biesenbos says the draft doesn't seem to be unconstitutional, and she suspects the regulations have been put forth under the Canadian Environmental Policy Act, which has been affirmed by the Supreme Court of Canada as being constitutional. That doesn't mean, though, that we wouldn't see the current government bring a lawsuit to try to stop uh, these regulations as being unconstitutional. They've certainly shown that they're willing to do it before. They uh, brought legal challenges against the carbon tax and against the Impact Assessment Act, formerly Bill C-69. So they have certainly done it before and they may, in fact, do it again. The Calgary Climate Hub, a nonprofit that wants Calgary to be a leader on climate action, applauds the release of the draft regulations. This, um, you know, this is a really great step and a really um, pivotal moment in, in Canada's um, action on climate. But you know, this this legislation is not not finished yet. You know, it still needs to go through its review and it still needs to get um, officially passed in the, in the House of Commons. So, you know, we can celebrate today, but this still needs to get over the finish line and it needs to get over the finish line quickly so that investors, um, activists, citizens have the certainty about what clean electricity is gonna provide both in Calgary and in Canada. The province's official opposition also weighing in with a response. Najwan Algenid, Alberta NDP critic for energy and climate, with a statement saying in part, Alberta families are hurting and feeling the crunch of high power bills. Alberta businesses are focused on the creation of new, good-paying jobs and putting billions in new investments. We will be reviewing these regulations to determine the impact on reliability and affordability for consumers and policy certainty for businesses and investors. In Calgary, Danina Falkenberg, City News.